what's up everybody Steven here uh, the horror freak 85 here to do another review uh, this video I'm doing ahead of time but by the time you're watching this it'll be wild eye Wednesday and I am gonna be reviewing grave of the living dead now I couldn't find a trailer or anything on internet movie database like I usually do but uh, probably like right in that corner beside me there will be a photo of the DVD cover so you can see what it looks like and I'm just gonna go ahead and read the back of it since there wasn't any information and I'll, t I'll tell you who stars in it from what it says on the DVD uh, it says for the synops multiply your taste for terror with this collection of seven blood-soaked tales from beyond the grave features short horrors from directors Pat Kusnadi uh, Sam Manson Bell, Dustin Ferguson, and more. Uh, let's see. So Wild Eye Releasing Presents Grave of the Living Dead, starring Kansas Bowling and Jennifer Nangle, Anna Samari, Annabelle Rich, Ronnie Angel, George James Fraser, Soroyo Waitley. I'm sorry if I'm saying these names wrong. Uh, Brianna Mitchell, Michelle Perez, oh, I guess it's Michelle Perez del Capello, um, Sarah Perez, uh, segments produced and directed by Dustin Ferguson, Matt Aaron Krinsky, Matt Leal, Sam Manson Bell, and Pat Kasnati. Kasnati. Uh, the runtime was, well, it says 70 minutes, but like with the credits, I think it was only about an hour or so, um, less than an hour. Because as I was watching it, it seemed like it ended pretty quick and then it went to the credits. Uh, Dustin Ferguson in this uh, did two segments. And in this, in the credits, he's going by Dark Infinity. Um, so when you see that name, those are his. Uh, I'm just going to briefly talk about each segment because you know seven of them anthologies you know don't want to really spoil too much of it um, so I'll tell you the titles and just a little brief synops but not too much uh, I will say though um, the acting was decent I was impressed um, I've seen worse uh, I mean I actually enjoyed it uh, this is one that you should definitely check out if you like anthologies uh, the first one was called what we leave behind uh basically it's about this girl uh, i believe her name was emma and she was going i guess someone passed away in the house and they were uh going there to clean it and she was supposed to meet uh sarah whether it was a family member or friend it didn't really clarify anything and uh we see like this figure that she doesn't see uh, weird voices coming from the basement and of course she gets called down to the basement and what happens you'll just have to find out uh, the next one was um, dark infinity dark infinities aka Dustin Ferguson called crawling chaos um, this was a Christmas one just a guy talking to his mom on the phone uh, saying that he should make it in the morning uh, it's only a couple hour drive and then they mentioned something about medications and uh, I guess maybe he's had visions so something happens that may or may not be a vision later on he said to like call in the morning just in case uh, sometimes the alarm doesn't go off and we do see like a crawling decayed skeleton or body uh, which, like I said, may or may not be there. You'll just have to watch it to find out. Uh, next one was called Demonic Attachment, where, of course, um, this woman, she's having trouble sleeping. Uh, she's waking up with scratches on her neck. Um, but her doctors are saying, like, everything's fine. She should be able to sleep. Nothing's wrong with her health. Uh, one person she starts talking to uh, believes her story and then about the scratches and that something's going on. So they get this, um, some friends of hers, uh, a mother and stepdaughter, and they do pretty much like a, um, 
an exorcist and they find out you know that this demonic entity has been with her since childhood uh, next one uh, is called stiffed which was probably my favorite one on there definitely the goriest uh, basically a uh, torture scene uh, tongue ripped out I mean there's a lot of gore I don't want to go too much into it uh, but if you like you know torture and uh, payback uh, this guy he uh, stiffs a waitress and she gets revenge uh, next one is called invocation uh, this woman is like doing some sort of ritual um, she's cutting her hand and bleeding into it I guess trying to like call a demon uh, so and of course that doesn't turn out right uh, next one was another Dustin Ferguson called Deadly Doll where a package of course with no return address uh, is sent to this woman's house she thinks it's from her mother uh, but there was no return address so her mother tells her it wasn't from her and some weird stuff starts going on in the house stuff getting knocked over and of course the woman she has a cat and she thinks he's to blame but of course not uh, so I'll just leave it at that uh, the last one is called salt and iron uh, this drunk guy is out in the woods fishing uh, he's not catching anything you know and uh, he has to go take a pee so you know he's out in the woods uh, and he goes off this tree and he sees some woman in like a white dress almost kind of reminds me of um, Midsummer, how they celebrate in those dresses and everything um, or wood nymphs or th that's about how they would dress you know I mean I'm sure you've seen those movies where there's like witches or how they celebrate or sacrifices in other movies so it's kind of seen before uh, he ends up following her um, she strips down and gets on top of him and, you know, has some killer sex. How? I won't say. You'll just have to watch it to find out. And there is a bunch of other, I guess if it's a cult, whatever you want to call it, or, uh, are a part of it. And you get to see what happens to the body. I'll just leave it up to your imagination and you'll have to watch it to actually find out what happens. Uh, because like I said, it's hard to talk about anthology stories without spoiling them. Um, but that's basically each title and a little synopsis of what it's about. Uh, like I said, decent acting. Uh, I mean, for what they did, uh, the gore was decent. I was impressed. I enjoyed it. Oh, and in between each story, there was an actual like zombie walking through the city. And there's like a little outcome of that or that comes up from the grave and it's like traveling through in between each segment into one segment of its own and that's it uh if you've seen it leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if not like i said if you like anthologies it is worth checking out uh thanks again to rob everyone at wild eye uh for sending me this copy to review for you guys i'll leave a link down below to check them out um as always you can watch them on Amazon Prime, uh, Tubi, uh, purchase the physical copies, of course, you know, from Wild Eye themselves, uh, Amazon, eBay, Walmart uh, are the best places to find them. All right, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and see you next time.